Um, Patrick, I want to ask you specifically, you mentioned infrastructure and the long-term projects that are going to have to be built out for years in order to reach the capacity that's needed. When I spoke with Olaf Scholz last week, the Chancellor of Germany, he basically said to me that before we can even talk about Russian energy sanctions from Europe, he's got to get LNG terminals built in Germany. They have no way to bring that um, LNG into the country at this point. When you take a step back and think about the prices we're seeing of energy in Europe, given the amount of infrastructure that they're going to have to put in place, when can we expect energy prices, in your view, to begin to go back to more acceptable levels? First, we need to stop to have the debate. Because, you know, today this debate about the Russian gas, do we keep it, don't we keep it, is just pushing every day the price up. So my advice to our government was, okay, you decide. Either you keep it or you don't keep it. My first, first comment. Having said that, it is also very clear to me that the gas price in Europe will be higher tomorrow than it was yesterday. You know, because yesterday, this Russian gas was giving us a base of... 30-40% of low-cost gas in Europe. So gas, Europe was benefiting from the Russian gas, let's be clear, compared to LNG. LNG, from the US to Europe, it started from, it's, it's landing in Europe at minimum at $7 per million BTU. You know, it's just a question of, of chain. So you, Russian gas is produced at one and two. So obviously, so now this time will be over because I'm convinced whatever will happen, we'll get rid of the Russian gas. Not today, it will take two, three, four years to build the infrastructure, then to find the LNG, because you don't build a new LNG plant on the planet. You can ask Saad, he's an expert of it. It takes five years, so we don't have... To, so even if we decide today, new supply will have to be built. But, but the consequence of all that is that clearly the gas price in Europe will be higher than it was. So the five dollars that we experience, or the free five dollars, I think the game is over. We'll go above ten. Today we are nowhere. We are at $30 per million BTU, which is much too high, but uh, as you said, it's a crisis. Uh, it was, but, but, you know, fundamentally, it, we will manage to get the price back if we accept that gas is part of the European mix. Otherwise, again, the investors will be prudent and we will have always a problem of demand and supply. This is what is happening today in, the, you know, there is a debate, I was listening to John Kerry. Uh, yes, we need to build a new decarbonized system. It's $300 it will take here. But the mistake we are doing all together is that we want at the same time to destroy the energy of today, not to invest enough in oil and gas. We cannot do that for the next 10, 15 years. We must, yes, we must heavily invest in renewables, in uh, hydrogen, in all these new molecules, yes. But at the same time, we must maintain the system because our life today is done of oil and gas. And so what we've done in the last five years because of crisis, we invested not enough. The price went up. The war is just adding on it. So if we want to be serious, if we want to put back the gas price in Europe, it's a matter, again, of long-term policy. Do we accept, to get all together in Europe, that gas is a transition fuel and that we will need it for the next 20, 25 years? Then investors will come. And you will see price will go back, will go down. Uh, but you know, I'm excited because for me, I'm uh, the number two. No, I would say number three because number one is just beside me. Number two uh, among the private oil, oil and gas company in the energy business. We have 10% of the world market. A new market is open to us. It's called Europe. We know so the world can change. So we are lucky today, you know. And we have some, some issues with all, of some of our plans, but we have, we've seen this new market. But it will be. LNG is fundamentally more expensive than pipe gas. Yeah. So the so one who will win is on my left. <laughs> <laughs>